formatting a document when you change the appearance of the document to make it look attractive it is known as formatting it consists of font formatting commands paragraph options text style commands copying and moving commands finding replacing and selecting commands changing the font type when you open word the font text appears in calibri body with 11 point size by default the given steps should be followed for changing the type of the font step 1 select the text and click on home tab step 2 select the drop down arrow next to the font box in the font group a list of fonts will appear step 3 Select the desired font from the displayed font list. Applying bold, italic and underline effects. For emphasizing the text and catching the reader's attention, the font style options like bold face, italic and underline are used. Bold. It is used for making the selected word darker than the rest of the text. For example, bold italic it emphasizes the text by slanting it to the right for example italic underline it is used for emphasizing the text by placing a line under it a word or sentence can be underlined along with spaces for example underline for applying any font style effects follow the given steps Step 1 Select the text Step 2 Click on the button B or I or U in the font group on the home tab A variety of formatting options are available which can be selected from the font dialog box on the home tab In the font group click on the font dialog box launcher changing the text color for making the document look attractive the color of the text can be changed to change the text color follow the steps given step 1 select the text and click on home tab step 2 select the drop down arrow next to font color button on the home tab step 3 from the displayed font color menu choose the desired color changing the text case the case of the existing text can be changed by selecting the text and choosing the change case option present in the font group five types of case conversions are available sentence case it capitalizes the first letter of the selected sentence lower case it converts the selected text to lower case upper case it converts the selected text to upper case capitalize each word it changes the first character of each word to upper case tugal case it converts the case of every selected character in reverse manner like the capital letter will be converted into lower case and vice versa the given steps can be followed for changing the text case step 1 choose the text click on change case button in the font group on the home tab step 2 choose the case and observe the changes in the case of text changing the text alignment the positioning of text on the page is known as text alignment before typing we should always set the alignment We can change the alignment of the text after typing the whole document also. There are four types of alignment. Align left. The selected text is placed towards the left margin. By default the text is aligned to left margin. Center. The text is set in center of the left and right margins. It is mostly used for headings and titles. Align right. 
the selected text is aligned towards right margin. It is often used for placing dates or reference in document. Justify The text is placed evenly between left and right margins. It is used for designing newspapers, magazines, books, etc. The given steps can be followed for aligning the text. Step 1. Choose the text. Click on any desired alignment button in the paragraph group on the Home tab. Step 2. Observe the changes in the alignment. Bullets and Numbering A bullet refers to the small symbol in the front of a line text. It is used for the appearance of the items in the list which are not so important. Step 1. Select the lines of the text to which the bullet is to be applied. Step 2. On the Home tab in the Paragraph group, click the Bullets button. Step 3. You can change the bullet symbol by clicking the Bullets arrow and making selection from the Bullets gallery. To create a numbered list, Step 1. Select the lines of text. Step 2. On the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, click the Numbering button. Step 3. We can change the number style by clicking the Numbering arrow and making a selection from the Numbering gallery. To remove bullets or numbers from a list, Step 1. Select the lines of text from which you want to remove bullets or numbers. Step 2. Do one of the following. 1. To remove bullets, click the bullets arrow and select None from the bullet library. 2. To remove numbers, click the numbering arrow and select None from the numbering library.